Hey guys, welcome to the Brad Penny channel and today we're going to be looking at the I Blew It episode 4 of season 3, um, Joseph Mtavati's story and I truly think this is a very interesting story and I cannot wait to break it down and see what went wrong. Let's check it out. <laughs> received a lot of winning of with well, lots of winnings of 2.6 million uh, when it comes to lot of winnings there's absolutely no tax attached to it remember guys how the tax system works it you get charged tax on income tax right so you have what you call income tax which is money that you generate so now that you work for it it's a business whatever that case may you did something to get that money so therefore it's an income to you and it gets charged to you as according to the income tax act and the tax table that has been established so in this case it's similar to an inheritance whatever so any money that you receive that you didn't work for that is capital of nature right those will not get taxed in terms of income tax so in simple words the lot of winnings are tax-free once again what he decides to do with the money can potentially raise how he will be taxed in other words if you start a business then you're putting yourself at you know the possibilities of being charged income tax within the business if you make enough money 1 million upwards you can be charged with that when you pay yourself and other people you're gonna have to be paying pay as you earn so when you pay yourself now you're starting to pay income tax based on the money that you pay yourself from the business and also sometimes whatever that you do with the business as regard to the personal expense can be deemed as an income and that can also raise your tax liability so there's various things to look at when you start making money or you start getting money from various sources it number one the source is very important if it's capital of nature don't get taxed but if it's something that you work for you did something whether it's small or big that's where now income tax starts to get considered so all in all in summary he did not have to pay any income tax in terms of his lot of winnings so what we right with joseph is in in relation to his circumstances his very tough upbringing of how he lost his mother of how his father treated them i mean at one point his father got his pension money already have not been treating them well his father left the home when he got his pension money to live somewhere else left them there with his siblings with his mother and they just had to figure life out i mean this is so tragic so unfortunate and i really wish whoever's watching guys don't ever do that don't even think about doing that if you're in the situation try to come out stronger it's really tough but yeah at the end of the day he had a very tough upbringing but what i like about him which is something that i keep on preaching here he really you know activated that wealth i mean yeah the wealth principle of personal development you know he learned a skill upholstery and that's something that gave him a chance in life and for me i really appreciate that fact because it's very important guys you cannot just you know exist in life and expect things are going to come simply because you exist you have to learn something that you can offer the world and you the minute you start engaging yourself and improving and you know getting better and better that's how the thing creates a living for you so for him his upholstery skill helped him he was a guy that you know fixed furnitures and, and so on but that was something that i was really proud of that you know it, it got him away into his life and you know upon receiving his lot of winnings what i also loved is he was very cautious yes i mean of course you're gonna get excited for me guys when you watch these videos and i'm saying what i'm saying i'm not trying to take out the fun it's very important for you to enjoy and be happy but what we are trying to address is waste. You don't want to do things that are wasteful. Now you start spending 10,000 per day on parties each and every day or any day. There's no structure. There's no you know, way of doing things, a proper sequence to help you, you know, to manage, you know, reward and, and time, you know, and, and the times to work. And there must be a balance. So at the end of the day, what you did with this money is he, he definitely took care of his home. You can see his sister was very, very happy 
his brother is very happy everybody in the show like that's something like this this Abdul episode is interesting because the people speaking here you can see everybody is they're just happy you know yes the circumstances the money is, has been blown but there's some degree of happiness some contentness and everybody's okay it's okay i mean it's just mind-blowing so yeah so the other thing that he did buy some few assets quite a lot it seems but they don't obviously go into details once again when it comes to purchasing you know assets and, and those type of things uh remember now with the yeah when it comes to purchasing assets and those type of things the most important thing is it's very important to buy something that is useful right it should not cost you more than you anticipate so in other words whatever you buy you must have an anticipated operating cost attached to it something that you know okay if i buy a car i don't have to spend petrol based on how my travels go so based on the travels this is how much petrol i'm going to spend every now and then every three months or whatever you're going to pay for service maintenance costs and so on have insurance very very important insurance is going to cost you so much and it's going to help you in certain situations so those are the type of things that you should be having when you are buying assets and most people don't really regard those things and as you can see this guy he bought seven cows he bought you know multiple cars and the problem that he had was when he bought those cars he sold them for way less than its market value or the value that you know he could have sold it for so that's a problem because you're bleeding money unnecessarily you're being led by your emotions oh you see this you like it you see this you like it so very very uh, another thing that went wrong slightly is that he tried to he tried to get into business he bought a truck and you know the truck he ended up selling it because once again operating costs things that he tried to get into yes you cannot crush a man for wanting to try something it's just unfortunate that i think is in the story they don't really explain what was his thought processes but most cases when people have money they're very impulsive so somebody comes and say hey the truck business is booming i'll get a contract and then da 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 you what do you do because you have the money you don't think twice you just do it because what wow, you want more money and the unfortunate thing is there's so many other things when it comes to running businesses particularly a truck business there's the driver once again there's the maintenance there's the fuel there's the terms of conditions that the contract requires out of you and most often maybe one truck is not even good enough to actually you know help you to have a good you know business going on so those type of things would have been way more helpful if you would have known these things and maybe chose a business that does not put you in such a predicament he ended up selling the very same truck that he bought for 350,000 he sold for 250,000 so once again big loss and yeah for me i just i, I don't understand but that's what happened in terms of that the joseph story it's easy to say a lot went wrong but also it's not a lot in terms of many things that he done it's the few things that he did that had a big impact now as one already mentioned his conduct when he had his money did not change a lot yes he improved his life in certain ways but he also was very responsible in many things that he did for his family and so on however in as much as he was responsible the main thing that really gave him trouble or sort of made him spend his money the most is parties and women typical things that you know people want to have fun people want to do whatever that pleases themselves first and also want to show other people that he's living a good life and for me this is so unfortunate because it, there's not even an amount that can be quantified that shows how much he spent money on you know on parties and, and, and people and so, you know just social things they, like you don't even get that out of the story that's how dangerous this type of behavior is once again you just because you have so much money you think you can do whatever that you want to do on top of that while people are eating your money away his relationships this guy was in multiple relationships that did not really give him value but the main thing is cannot be with a partner that steals from me i mean that is just 
like why or if you're stealing from your partner what's your plan are you planning to leave like you're literally planning to leave because you're stealing up until you get to a certain amount then you're out like oh my gosh but yeah that's the situation that he was in and that was not good another thing that went wrong is his excessive spending on cars this guy bought cars left and right he could not help himself and it can be seen as a good thing because you're buying assets and once again you have to know where you're going what you're doing that can actually put you at a place whereby whatever that you buy actually benefits a lot so unfortunately with him his emotional attachment to something that he didn't have in terms of cars led him to replace this one change that one possibly also it's not really mentioned the story but you know sometimes people can get addicted to the fact that people say yo you are always changing cards you have this card today then some people they love that euphoria they want to keep people guessing just because you can then you end up doing it so that's also a problematic thing that went wrong in this situation another thing which is basically an observation is this guy had a skill where while he was rich he did not take the time to increase um, the potential of what his skill can do for me i truly hoped as i'm watching the story that he would have built on his business that he was building the work that he was doing the upholstery work for him to have some sort of a workshop to buy himself a space and really you know get you know equipment that can help him to really push his career so yeah guys that's the story of Dr. Joseph. Um, what you can really take away is once again that excess mentality. That excess mentality is a very, very dangerous, you know, component when it comes to having access to such monies. And it's very important, guys, to put your desires and all these non-existent things right now, but they start to exist when you have money. You have to put them into check. You need to have a plan once again. You need to observe that when you have money you need to be able to create and have an income and then you use that money so in other words make sure if you have a skill whatever the case may be make sure that money invests into that the reason being is you want to get into a situation whereby you're able to pay yourself something you need to make sure that the money that you generate is the money that your lifestyle will be based on this will help you to control because the problem is when you have a lump sum of money just sitting there, two million plus, you're gonna think you have money that is two million, and you're gonna base, you're gonna wanna try base your lifestyle as if you're a two million bearing or two million generating, you know, annually generating two million type of situation, and that's not the case. This is two million once off. So in other words, the minute you start spending a hundred grand of the two million not two million anymore so the most important thing guys is invest that money to help you generate an income yes if that's not an option for you there's other things like going to the banks whereby they have you know these income fixed deposits or income investments or investments with income whereby you invest a certain amount of money i think if you invest something like a million you can get up to or around ten thousand per month from that investment obviously there's like periods or you need to give it some time to grow so that you spend the interest or the amount generated rather than the actual capital so that's one way for you to control yourself because remember guys in the case of something like this whatever that you your lifestyle that you had the money like even if you were to earn ten thousand it was more than what you were getting before so don't fall into the trap of saying i have two million and therefore i'm gonna start buying a big house i'm gonna start buying the minute you start doing those things you are finishing that money extremely quick but if you find a way to create an income so that you can live comfortably so that you can live in such a way that you have truly changed your life not for a moment but for a lifetime because now if you are spending ten thousand bit by bit every month from an investment that is generating itself that is great that's already your budget you know that when this amount of money comes into this account that's it if it's finished or if it's finishing you start controlling yourself rather than i have two million in my bank account swipe 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 
oh, I like this part, I like that part. That's what the problem with that the Joseph was. No control over expanding, no control over how much money you're actually spending and consuming as you go by. Once again, he is a situation, he is also a situation whereby he found out that he has 10,000 left all of a sudden. I mean, guys, I cannot operate like that. I know how much money I have. Yes, I don't have to know to the decimals, but I know generally how much I have and I control my spending not based on what i have but based on how much i'm going to make my income per month is what determines how i spend and look forward to spending on certain things so guys if you live that way guess what's going to happen you end up focusing on the income your capital your balance is going to keep on growing because there come those moments where you have excess because indeed guys there are certain things that we don't need to be spending money on so it's very important to control your spending very important to understand how much money you have understand that the money that you are generating is the money that you need to base your lifestyle on do not base your lifestyle on the balance of your bank accounts that is a very dangerous you know thing to do because guess what there can be so many things that can make you spend the equivalent of that balance but if you can focus on spending the equivalent of your income your balance will be protected so that's what i want you guys to take you know take away from this video all right guys thank you so much for supporting um obviously if you if you've reached this point of the video i'd really appreciate if you were to leave a comment just say hello say what's up and Remember to please subscribe if you haven't. And once again, thank you if you have. Please like, share this video amongst your friends, family, just anyone that really this could help. And I really appreciate your support, guys. Hope you learned something. See you on the next one.